For the reaction below, which is the excess reactant if 25 grams of silicon dioxide react with 10 grams of carbon? Hint, always check the equation for balancing before starting the problem. If it is not balanced, balance it first. So let's start with silicon. Well, there's one there, one here, so that's good. Oxygen, two here, and only one here. So let's go ahead and fix that first. Put a two there for the oxygen. So silicon is still one for one, we're good. So let's look at carbon. We have one on the left and one, two, three on the right. So let's put a three here. So three carbons on the left, three on the right, two oxygens on both sides and one silicon on both sides. We're good. So we now have a balanced equation. So what are we given? We're given 25 grams of silicon dioxide and we want to find out how much carbon we need to react. So we start with our 25 grams there. We go to the periodic table and we find that one mole of silicon dioxide is 60.084 grams. So we put that in here first and this is grams of silicon dioxide so that'll cancel out there. Then we have one mole of silicon dioxide for every three moles of carbon. So that's this conversion factor. So now we've gotten rid of moles of silicon dioxide. We're left with moles of carbon. And then once again to the periodic table, and we find that one mole of carbon is 12.011 grams. This all cancels out. And we need 15 grams of carbon to make this reaction work. However, we only have 10 grams of carbon. So we certainly don't have an excess of carbon, but we do have an excess of silicon dioxide.